Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now at this point, VersaCarry has become my go-to holster solution for my firearms. At this point, I have carried this here, the Flex Deluxe, for quite a while. This is an in the waistband style holster. I have also leveraged their outside the waistband holsters as well, most specifically for my SIG P365XL. Now today we're gonna to take a look at one of their newer models, a new offering for 2023. This here is the Horizon. The Horizon outside the waistband holster in their newest colorway with the gray, absolutely beautiful. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous setup. Now I am going to leverage this for a larger handgun, this here being the Canik Mete SFT with the additional magazine pouch. This is going to give me an outside the waistband carry option where the larger handgun, I would struggle inside the waistband anyway. And so what we're gonna do today, we're gonna take a look at this in detail. We're gonna revisit the holsters from the past, talk about the new lineup for 2023 and VersaCarry. But with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at VersaCarry who did provide this for review. And so if you see anything that you like here today, do me a favor, take a look at the description box below where you can get more of the details. And so before we get too far with the horizon, I do want to talk about VersaCarry in general. First and foremost, they've been literally fantastic to work with. I've worked with them on reviews. I've worked with them at SHOT Show. Their communication is fantastic and their representatives really do care. So they're a great company to work with. The next thing that's awesome and just the quality of their products speaks for itself. But beyond all of that, when you look closely and yeah, we'll take a look here made in the USA. So, I mean, I am very happy to be working with people uh, who are manufacturing not just fantastic products, but made in the USA. That is absolutely awesome. So I am, again, very happy with their overall service, the quality, and the fact that their products are USA made. And when we talk about the quality, again, I'm going to come back here to my Flex Comfort Deluxe. This is the first, like, main holster that I carried my P365 XL. Really, it started with the P365 and then sort of worked its way to the XL. This has use pretty much continuously in all conditions, and you can see it's held up extremely well after just shy of about two years. So I'm coming up on the two-year mark, and this has been amazing. Just, again, all conditions, all weather, all, you know, sweating or cold or it doesn't matter this has just worked out fantastic so as we turn the corner here i needed a holster for my canic mete sft and being a larger and full framed firearm i really didn't think in the waistband would work so well so i went owb Again, this here being the horizon pattern. So just for the sake of the matter here, going through it here, drop out the magazine. Everything is clear physically and visually checking. So everything clear. And then the magazine that I'm demonstrating here today, also clear. So this here, now again, for 2023, they did debut this gorgeous gray color. And as you take a look here, just a beautiful finish. Now, you can actually get this in a number of different combinations of the gray, the black, and also brown. So depending on kind of what you like, it can be sort of mixed and matched a number of different ways. So there's a ton of combinations, which is really, really cool. But I wanted the bulk of it to be in gray with that little sort of two-tone setting it off in the black. And then that beautiful stitching, which I think is white. It just initially kind of looks like a cream color, but I believe it is just straight white. Just an awesome look. Now, something else to note that each one of their models has its own distinct sort of patterns. And you can see here that this had originally sort of those thin line slits. 
Well, this kind of plays off of that a little bit. Now, they are different models, so it's going to be laid out just a little bit differently, but you can see sort of a similar design aesthetic, which I think is pretty cool. And then, of course, contrasting that against this particular model, which has larger cutouts, and you can see that kind of carbon fiber kydex through the inside there, which is, again, just really, really awesome. So their products are just visually appealing. I think they do an amazing job with the quality, the look, the stitching, but you know, all of that, to be honest with you, is secondary to the fit of the firearms. Now, keep in mind, this is literally brand new. This has zero break-in period to it. And in fact, I've simply as much as installed the gun once, slid it in there, kind of started this video, and here we go. But you can see right away, just a good coverage, covering the trigger entirely, good trigger coverage, which is awesome. The next thing, I'm not gonna have any problem with space for an optic. You can see this will allow and, you know, sort of leave space for an optic, which I do expect I will definitely get into at some point. And the nice thing is the full back is gonna help protect this from a couple of things, I mean, dirt, debris, grime, lint, dust, banging around, rubbing against, you know, maybe harder items as this is on my belt, uh, it should do a nice job protecting it. Inserting the spare magazine, also a nice quality fit. So as you take a look here, that's going to fit nicely. This will break in over time, depending on sort of your technique or needs. You could certainly install that one way or another. I will have to kind of practice a little bit my... Uh, you know, manipulation and, you know, how I'm going to withdraw this from the mag holder to see kind of what my technique's going to be. I'm not all that proficient. I am not going to sit here and tell you that I am. I have a long way to go. I have a lot of practice to go. But that for me is why, you know, having a good quality outside the waistband holster does come into play. A lot of training and a lot of exercises, and depending on your range, uh, on your range officer, or on the actual sort of, you know, I'd say training regimen that you're going through, or the exercise that you're going through, could dictate what kind of holster you use, and oftentimes you do need at least some level of an outside the waistband holster. And so this will continue to break in over time. Now I'm gonna show you, for example, my original, which this is so perfectly form fit. If you were to tip this over at this point, this will probably fall out. However, you do end up with additional retention if you need it. So that can be tightened down, which at this point I probably should do. This hasn't been an issue. I have not had any concerns of this falling out, but I do feel as though this needs to be slightly tightened down. Now, this is a slightly different construction here. Full leather, this does not have the Kydex insert. So as we take a look at the inside here, you'll see this is a full leather option. If you want the Kydex insert, they do have models with a Kydex insert. You could certainly do that if you so choose. Now, just to go through this in a little more detail, again, of course, this is the Horizon with Mag Pouch OWB holster, the 2023 edition. This is, again, what they're calling the Horizon design. So if you like different designs, you can get different designs of the same kind of holster, different sort of shapes and features and whatnot, different cutouts. Kind of mixes it up and matches it up depending on your liking. Now, they do say this is a double-ply raised backing. So as you take a look at the backing here, it is double-ply. And this is their beautiful vegetable tanned water buffalo leather so just a gorgeous water buffalo leather as you take a look you can see just a little bit of that um you know the the pattern and just the general texture absolutely beautiful finished off nicely contoured wonderfully no hard edges softened out in all the right places this also leverages what they're calling their flex vent technology comfortable body wrapping design, an expedited break-in period, which I can tell you that these do break in fairly quickly, especially after using the IWB version. And something else worth considering, this does have a forward cant. So the forward cant here, as you take a look, does kind of cant this 
forward just a bit, which as you take a look, you can see does kind of angle the firearm to help to get on it with your grip and your draw. Also note that this is a 1.75 inch webbing gun belt. So you can see here as this goes through, no problem. It does accommodate larger belts, which is awesome. And you can see this actually is going to work very well. Holds it fairly tight up against my side. Pretty low profile, all things considered. It does kind of cant the grip in enough towards my side that it shouldn't print a ton. Now, of course, again, this being a slightly larger firearm, this isn't gonna be the best for concealed carry, but you can certainly do it. The main thing for me is having something that's going to be comfortable and safe while I carry. It will need a little bit of a break-in period, but here, you can see it's very firm. It will take a while for me to get this kind of printed the way I need to with my particular firearm. And you'll see this is probably going to start to rack the slide a little bit, but not too bad. So that is something that, you know, I'm going to have to sit here and kind of twist on this a little bit, break it into my actual firearm and also the magazine. Now I can tell you that this is fairly tight now that it's on my side. But again, that's the nice thing with the leather. That will break in nicely. It should do a good job to hold on to this. And I would have no fear that this would potentially even fall out. I love the way it looks. I think it's beautiful. And now that it's on my side, you can see again that sort of forward cant working to my advantage and helping me get on the firearm. At this particular time, I am going to sort of need to work with this. You can see it's going to be a little bit more of a two-hand draw because it is pulling on my pants. I could probably tighten up my belt a bit. But that's just because this is snug. Over time, you can see this is going to wear in on the firearm just a little bit. Shouldn't cause any damage, but it is going to wear in a little bit, which I am more than okay with. The fact of the matter is, I just want to make sure I get a good solid carry good solid ride appropriate trigger coverage and as i break this in over time you can see if you're not careful that can potentially rack the slide but again as i break this in over time that will improve so generally speaking beautifully done i love the versa carry holsters it will take a little bit to get it sort of seated into my own particular firearm but that's okay it comes with the territory and it's a little bit of a rite of passage i kind of enjoy that about this and just one last thing to keep in mind, depending on the size of your firearm, there are four different sizes available. So from a full size frame to 1911, you can get things for micro compacts. So depending on what you're trying to do, there is a size that should work for you. And then of course, beyond that, if you don't like the straight leather, you can get Kydex, you can get all kinds of different other offerings out there in the waistband, outside the waistband, Versa Carry having a ton of variety. So again, the Horizon, outside the waistband holster, the 2023 edition with this beautiful gray colorway. To the people at VersaCarry, I would like to say thank you very much for providing this for review. And for the rest of you, if you like this content, do me a favor, take a look at my Outer Limitless channel, which is more on my primary gear. On that channel, I cover everything from hiking, camping, and backpacking excursions, all the gear that goes with it. So from sleep systems, shelter systems, knives, axes, backpacks, flashlights, you name it, that's my Outer Limitless YouTube channel. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.